she's Welcome back to the Thank you guys. I do this? One of our students actually drew it for you. Wow. Shuffleberg chips this one in towards the back post. Cozy Thompson! It's his first Major League Soccer goal! What a moment for Cozy Thompson! TFC are level. And the teenager scores. That was terrific defending from Aaron Herrera. Well done, Jaden Nelson. Nelson from distance! Oh, special! Special from Jaden Nelson to tie. Opportunity and he took it superbly. What a way to get your first goal just into the game and what an impact. I was warming up the whole half and I was like, I was just looking, I wasn't even like running. I was just looking at Bob the whole time and I was like, okay, when am I gonna come on? When am I gonna come on? Finally, Pierre calls my name. I'm like, all right, it's my time. And the thing is, Kosi scored as well. So I was like, Kosi scored, Noble scored. Ralph scored, like what am I doing, you know? So I got on the field, I seen an opportunity to press, I got the ball, I seen the keeper that he was off his line a bit, so I just knew I had to hit it, and the rest is history. Super! <laughs> Seeing those little things that the leaders on the first team do, my neighbor is Q and Michael Bradley, so those two guys really pushed me a lot. And I'll say Bob, he's been a big role model for me as soon as he came here. And like the little things and as being a pro and all these things that you wouldn't really expect to hear or I expected to learn from him, he's showing me and I, I couldn't be more thankful. Around the world, like if a young player makes a mistake, it's 
is looked down upon but i feel like he pushes you and sees if you're going to continue to make that mistake and if you're going to correct it and he takes that time with you and i feel like that sets him apart from different managers and and how it's helping me you know there are times when you're pushing them and challenging them and saying come on it's got to be better but i i, I think we always want to make sure that they know that the work that we're doing is to help them that we see the talent and that we we believe in them and when when they do something good it's a great feeling to just let them know that the the work has paid off and you know just just to let them know that everybody's really excited for them and very proud of them no losses yet tonight their first loss going to take a big effort from everybody Right? Our football, but our mentality, our way of helping the next guy on every play, all game long. Come on. Come on, big statement for us tonight, okay? First game to beat Philadelphia. It's going to take a big effort from everybody. Smart at the beginning. Read the game, read the space, read the pressure. Let's try to play in their end. Ready? Come on. Come on, come on. Here we go. One, two, three. DC! And you just feel something's been built here. Bob Bradley's got something right in these first six games of the season. And things are starting to turn for TFC. Great way, guys. Think about it. All right? We talk about having as many guys as possible ready for a big game. I think that was true tonight. We talked about how now in these kind of games, we got to compete and have an edge and battle and everything else. All right, and if we do that and match teams like Philadelphia and Red Bull in their Red Bull style, we still have more football than those guys, okay? But we can't ever step on the field and just think that we can just make a few passes against these kind of teams, and that's going to be enough, okay? And so tonight was the mix of a lot of guys stepping up, and really good efforts, guys that came in did a really good job, all right? In the right moments, we played football, and when we needed to compete with them, get the second balls, fight, run hard, that part of it was a big step up for us. Okay? So that part's great. That part's great. So, look, let's build on it. Okay? These are the kind of wins that start to get everybody to understand what it takes to be a really good team. We can do it. So I've been with the club for 10 years. Uh... I had my chance to, to come with the academy 10 years ago when, when Jim Brennan was uh, with the academy and, and graduated to obviously working with, with the first team. And I've worked uh, with the ages from U12 all the way to obviously now with T2 when we're working with uh, the guys that are on the second team and obviously still a young group, which is really exciting. So it's not so much different from the academy, but in terms of the impact that you can have in their final stage of development, it's been a good learning curve for me. When we look at players, we look at you know two things. You look at the skill set, what they're able to do, and also we we look at the mindset. Both of those two things have to exist in terms of you know a player making it. And, and when we look at the players, the likes of the Colsies, the Lucas, obviously the Jadens and the and the Nobles, these are guys that you know. We didn't make it particularly easy for them with, within the academy. We always tried to push them up. You know, Jaden, we pushed up when he was, you know, I think he was 14 years old. He was one of the youngest players we've ever took to GAU 17. And Colsey was playing up. And we found that when we challenged them, they enjoyed it, they wanted it, and they took the moments of those challenges. Maybe it could be that it was frustrations. And they've always turned back and they've grown. And all these players that we've mentioned, all the players that have signed had a, an extreme desire to make it. And how can 
you as a coach and all of our all of our staff within the academy first team and second team we know that our job really is to help them fulfill their dream to see them step on the pitch and to see that dream of theirs when they were a young kid and see their faces so you know lit up with energy and joy and to see all the struggles that they've gone through along the way and to see them step onto the pitch in, in their hometown at BMO Field is obviously something that is special to all of us in this building and all the coaches that have worked with the players in the academy. I feel like if you know our history as an academy, like I think that's what made us so good young. Like we're all really good young players and we all pushed each other, but at the end of the day, we're all still teammates. And I just feel like every day, as soon as you cross those lines, it, it's a battle. You know, so, and when we come back into the change and we're friends again. So just having that balance and knowing when to turn it on and when to turn it off, it makes us better players and better teammates at the end of the day. Neat play this from TFC in the build-up as Thompson slides it through Osorio back into the middle and it's turned in! I always thought that this was a difficult spot for Toronto FC heading into this game, Terry. They've won three in a row at home, points in four consecutive games, beating some big competition, including New York City. Despite it all, they go up two goals. I still thought that despite the defensive breakdowns in the team, there were positives to garner from it and chalk it up to another learning experience for this very young team. And that's a header from DeAndre Kerr. And in a season when so many young players have been getting their opportunity, it's DeAndre Kerr, first MLS goal. The lessons from NYCFC. The good things that we had going in games leading up to that, and now we keep moving forward. Come on, here we go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. This is going to be kind of the process of this Toronto FC team before Insigne comes, before the squad is absolutely complete. There are going to be moments like this that you need to learn from. But what I do like is each and every time, there's no putting up the white flag, there's requisite fight in this group. Picked up by Petrasso, but that's the last act of the game. It's defeat for Toronto FC here at BMO Field in the first of back-to-back -back matches against Cincinnati. Come on, when you work as a team every day from preseason till the end, not everybody feels like some days they're counted on. You're counted on, and it's all on days like today, that work where everybody's together comes out, all right? Where every guy gets their chance and everybody's ready and we step on the field and we play like there's no tomorrow. With a hard mentality, with good football, where you just work and help each other for 90 plus minutes, okay? You can do it. I see it in training on a lot of days. One team versus the other team and you see guys that are stepping up. Now we turn it into an effort in a real game. We win a night on a night where, yeah, we're down a few guys. That doesn't matter. What matters is the guys that are here, the guys that come in, and how much do we put into it. Okay? Play football, have the right mentality, help each other on the field. That's what it's all about. All right, let's go, let's go. Okay, one, two, three. Team Let's go, guys. Let's go. But Ralph Preso is in trouble. TFC a goal down and now a man down in the opening minutes of this game in Cincinnati on his first start after that long injury layoff. Couple of substitute appearances up until this point. It's full time in Cincinnati. TFC fall to defeat here. Yeah, a grueling night for TFC. A night where they worked extremely hard. It's about focusing forward now. What's well, going to be a really big game in BC Place on Sunday afternoon. Six Canadians in the starting lineup for this understrength Toronto side today. Kosi Thompson, 19 year old, born in Toronto, who is making his ninth appearance of the season, his sixth start of the campaign. Number 23, Jove! Start of the game, gotta be smart. Gotta have intensity when we're near the ball. Get after it, win battles. 
you got to do better in the early parts of games, meeting pressure, trying to play our football, but understanding how they're pressing us. Big effort from everybody. Big win. Come on, now. Come on, now. Come on. Go. One, two, three. TSC. Come on. Bradley floating it across for Thompson. Thompson into the path of DeAndre Kerr. DeAndre Kerr's ball back in, comes back for Pozuelo. What a stop! But Nelson knocks it on the line. I think he's given a foul. I think he has. Can't believe it. It's not a foul, in my opinion. What a save, first off from Hassal. Yep. Remarkable save. It looked like a certain goal as it fell to Pozuelo, and Hassal got back, but he just. Spilled into an area where Nelson comes in. Definitely a good goal list in my opinion. Last year there's nothing harder that we could really experience, you know. So something like this, I feel like we've seen it before and it's an opportunity for us and I feel like we are stepping up. Even though it's still a process that yes, we have to like start winning games, but we need to understand that it comes by each and every session, each and every week. It's just coming in every day, ready to work and ready to get better and just believing in the process that Bob wants us to implement and that's all we could really do. So when those starters come back or whoever is injured, to have that position and make Bob guess, yeah, maybe Jaden should be in this position or maybe, yeah, sit him out for a bit and then, you know, let's see how he's doing. So having that mentality to come in every day and keep working hard. We always wanted to make sure that we were challenging them the best that we could so that we could you know gain insight into their character they always showed that they had that skill set but also the mindset to go along with playing hopefully first team football one day and, and they did i came from humble beginnings i had friends even myself where there's times where i didn't have food or like situations where it's not ideal and I just felt like if I was in their shoes or like back in the day that I know that I can help them now being who I am. It pushes me to see that I could bring a change to my community and somewhere that I've been already. So growing up in Copeland was pretty much the start of everything really. This was a school he always spoke about throughout his entire life. You know, Copeland School, he always remembered the teachers, the activities they did and the after school program. So it was something dear to him. And one day he said to me, Mom, I want to give back. What should I do? And being at EA myself, I see the laps where there is, like kids coming to school with little food and whatnot. And I'm like, hey, a snack program would be good. And he's like, yeah, you're right. He goes, how do we do it? So then I said, started doing my research. And he's like, yeah, let's get on this. And here we are today. I just want to say thank you for everyone behind the scenes uh got to make this happen and I want to thank you guys for coming out and showing support and all the little things that I've seen in the hallway or in the gym. Nothing went unnoticed and I'm, this is just the beginning of something much bigger than just soccer so I'm just ready to get started and I'm happy. Thank you. We are so excited and because of Jaden's generosity, he actually inspired other people to donate to the program. And although it's, you know, people would look at the houses and say, oh, this is a lovely, wealthy suburb, we pull from a large range of uh, households in the French Immersion Program, because we have a dual track program here, as well as sometimes kids are just busy, they have to leave the house early, right? Parents are working, so they don't really supervise um, all the meals that the kids are eating and we all know that kids can't learn if they are hungry so it's so important to make sure that our kids have a good nutritious start to the day and that actually helps them with their learning so i'm so excited and i'm with all the other partners that are partnering with us too he thought that it wouldn't have been a big deal he thought yes mom i'm just gonna supply kids with food and it's gonna be okay that's it he never knew that the impact was gonna be like this and he was very surprised and he wants to continue this and him doing that, he knows that he's filling a gap. He is stopping something from happening. This is the most important day of my life with Jaden soccer. This is the biggest goal he ever scored. I emphasize that all the way, giving back, because our family is a huge family, and we believe in sharing. So that speaks for itself. 
So him giving back today, <laughs> this is only the beginning. I feel like him saying that means like I'm starting something bigger than just my career, you know? And it's just the beginning of something bigger. And it means a lot coming from him as well.